Google has sent shockwaves through the world with an announcement that they crafted an AI model that's a hopping 10 times better than GPT-4. This news has left tech geeks and language enthusiasts both amazed and eagerly anticipating this groundbreaking advancement. But just how far along is Google in this endeavor? And could this signal a lasting transformation? If you're a tech enthusiast hungry for the latest AI breakthroughs, you won't want to miss out on this video. Now onto the juicy details, Google has recently introduced Palm 2, their latest AI language model, which is positioned as a strong contender against rivals like OpenAI's GPT-4. The name Palm is an acronym for Pathways Language Model. While Pathways itself is a cutting-edge machine learning approach developed within Google, this new iteration, Palm 2, follows in the footsteps of the original Palm model that Google unveiled back in April 2022. Palm 2 is essentially a family of extensive language models that specialize in predicting the next words, generating the most probable text based on human prompts. According to Google's claims, Palm 2 is not just another run-of-the-mill AI model. It's equipped with the ability to engage in reasoning, co-generation, and multilingual translation. Impressively, it supports a whopping 100-plus languages. During his keynote presentation at Google I.O. 2023, Google CEO Sundar Pichai introduced the different sizes of Palm 2, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. The smallest of the bunch Gecko is optimized for use on mobile devices. Furthermore, Palm 2 is the powerhouse behind AI capabilities in various Google products like Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Bard. Now let's delve into what lies ahead with this exciting development. Google has taken things a step further by customizing Palm 2 to cater to specific enterprise needs. A specialized version named MedPalm2, trained on health-related data, stands ready to offer expert-level responses to inquiries akin to those found in the U.S. medical license examination. On a different note, there's the SEC Palm2, trained on cybersecurity data. This version is geared towards explaining the behavior of potentially hazardous scripts and aiding in the identification of code vulnerabilities. Google has a powerful tool called Palm2 that's being used in various parts of its website, including a chatbot named Bard. This version called Gecko is small and can run on devices, processing about 20 tokens per second, which is roughly 16 to 17 words. Using such tools on local devices can protect privacy and save costs compared to running them in the cloud. Palm 2 is designed to be more efficient and smaller, which makes it useful for less powerful devices. Compared to GPT-4 by OpenAI, Palm 2 has some advantages. It outperforms GPT-4 in certain tasks like translation, math, and reasoning as per the technical report. Palm 2 has various new and improved features, and the fact that it comes in smaller sizes, especially for devices with less computing power, is one of its key strengths over GPT-4. However, details about Palm 2, such as its exact size in terms of parameters, are a bit mysterious. The original Palm model has 540 billion parameters, so Palm 2 is likely significantly smaller, potentially between 10 and 300 billion parameters. The trading data for Palm 2 is said to be much larger than GPT-4's, although Google hasn't disclosed the exact size. This lack of transparency has raised concerns among industry experts who advocate for more openness in understanding AI models. Furthermore, Palm 2 was trained on a diverse range of resources like web documents, books, code, math, and conversational data, but the specific data sources aren't detailed. The Palm 2 dataset, like other big language model datasets, probably contains a mix of information some of which might be copyrighted material used without permission, and some could even be risky stuff collected from the internet. Some experts are suggesting that using open datasets is better because it allows for scientific validation and ethical consideration. The trading data greatly affects the results of any AI model, even though all large language models have a tendency to generate content from thin air and criticism about not revealing the secret sauce hasn't stopped Google from pushing AI models widely. During Google I.O., they showcase AI features in many of their major products, which suggests that the public might soon come across AI-generated content. When OpenAI introduced GPT-4, they followed a similar approach by not revealing the size of the training dataset. However, Google focused more on a deeper understanding of science, logic, reasoning, and math. A significant part of Palm 2's training material is devoted to these subjects. According to Google, Palm 2 has improved in all aspects compared to Palm because it's trained on a diverse range of sources, including web publications, books, code, mathematics, and conversations. Palm 2's ability to hold conversations should be impressive as it's been trained in over 100 languages to improve its understanding of context and translation skills. When you ask GPT-4 a question, it can generate various responses, although not all might be relevant to your query. OpenAI fine-tuned the model's behavior by combining reinforcement learning with human feedback to make it more useful to users. 
While we don't have the exact details of the training data used by these models, we do know that the training objectives were quite different. We'll have to wait and see how this difference affects the practical use of these models. You can access Palm 2 and GPT-4 through their respective chatbots, BARD and ChatGPT. BARD is free to use internationally, but ChatGPT+, Plus, which includes GPT-4, is not free. However, GPT-4 is available for free through Microsoft's Bing AI chat that uses the model. The fact that Palm 2 is open source could make it more appealing to a wider range of users. Google has integrated Palm 2 into more than 25 of its products, including Android and YouTube. Microsoft has added AI features to its Office suite and many services. Although GPT-4 has gained popularity among developers and startups due to its early release and improvements, the open source nature of Palm 2 might attract a broader user base. While it's still early for Palm 2 leaving Google's promises and their aggressive approach in promoting it, it seems like Palm 2 might give GPT-4 a good competition. Despite its considerable merits, GPT-4 maintains its strong standing as a robust language model. As mentioned earlier, it outperforms Palm 2 in various comparative assessments. However, Palm 2 boasts a distinct advantage thanks to its array of smaller models. Among these, the lightweight Gecko stands out. What sets it apart is its ability to operate on mobile devices even without an active internet connection. This unique capability opens up new avenues for Palm 2, enabling it to support a diverse range of products and devices that might otherwise struggle when utilizing GPT-4. The competitive landscape in the AI field has grown fiercer with the introduction of Palm 2 and Google's continuous efforts on the multimodal AI model known as Gemini. Google's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI technology underscores its determination to innovate and surpass the established frontrunners like GPT-4. As time unfolds, we'll witness the dynamic evolution of these language models. Their development will significantly influence the trajectory of natural language processing and artificial intelligence as a whole. This comprehensive view helps us better understand the ongoing technological race and its potential impact. Bringing our exploration to a close, we genuinely hope you found this discussion thought-provoking and engaging. Your commitment to following through till the end is deeply appreciated. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more content like this one. And before you go, check out this video where Google and Microsoft's AI have become aware of itself.